Hello, I'm John Proxy. Welcome. <laughs> Can I get my glasses on? Welcome to the proximity. I'm about to begin a, a Psychonauts adventure. A, a Psychonauts 1.5 adventure. I'm going to take my glasses back off and put on my VR goggles. I have become Goggalore. And let's have a look at this screen, shall we? In front of us. Yes, Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin. Now, uh, I... Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the controller. There it is, it's right here. Uh, uh, yesterday, I completed Psychonauts, finally. It took me like 16 years to defeat Meat Circus, but I did it last night. Uh, tomorrow, Psychonauts 2 comes out. So today, I play uh, Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin. Now, if I press the A button, unfortunately, there's very little in the way of um, options. So right now, I have a left eye and a right eye on the screen, and I would really like it just to show the entire screen. But uh, it looks like what I'm going to have to do is, I don't know, I'm going to put the resolution like that and see if the recording works. Uh, and I'm just going to zoom into one eye. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm not streaming, I'm just recording. It's I assume this isn't the most intense game in the world. Who knows? It seems to be running fine. Let's press new game. Uh, yes, so I gave it a little tryout, and maybe I should should have just stuck with that tryout, to be honest. One thing I should probably note. Ooh. I am a psychonaut. <gasps> a real psychonaut. Me, Raz. After dreaming about it all my life, I'm finally a psychonaut on an actual mission. Rescuing not just anybody, but the grand head of the psychonauts himself, Truman Zanato, who just happens to be the father of my girlfriend. I mean, I think she's my girlfriend. There was that kiss, but it's not like we've had the talk or anything. But hey, she said it first. Darling? Didn't she? Rasputin, sweetie. Oh, Mia. Hello, darling. I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. And that you knew you were talking out loud. You could hear me? Just that last part, about Lily. <laughs> it's adorable, but we're trying to contact headquarters up here, and it's a little distracting. Gotcha. Right, um... So embarrassing. Yes. This is Agent Smine and Vodello, hailing PNML-857. Come in, mother load. Sorry, a little busy right now. No time for camp business. This is not camp business, this concerns the kidnapping. Give us the intel you've gathered so far, and we can help with the- Mother load, out! Unbelievable. Well, we'll just have to locate Truman on our own. I'll reach out now and see if I can pick anything up. Right. It's often important to see the world from someone else's point of view. Especially when you're strapped to your seat. Indeed, and I am sitting down because I'm being very lazy indeed. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I've completely forgot what I was going to say now, uh, other than, uh, yes, I put my drinks off way to the side. I have a very cold cup of tea because there was a little bit of faff for me getting this up and running. Because, uh, you know, as I said, I wanted it full screen. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. This is a controller game, as you can see on that picture there. And I know, I know obviously, a lot of people complained, what? VR game? How dare they? This um, presumably uh, came out before they were bought by Microsoft and kind of um, uh, everyone can see that that's kind of done that. That deal's done them a lot of good, right? So I can also do is getting really good scores. But uh, I just want to say, I just really like controllers in VR games. And I know when the Oculus came out, it was kind of cool to say, oh, it's, it's not as good because it doesn't have the hand controls. And I'm like, no, can, let me play more games with just the controller. I love, con like, I love the hand controls, obviously. But, um... Sometimes it's just nice to have a VR and a controller, like, so I'm, I'm yeah, anyway, um, we can uh, use our X button, use our clairvoyance, so we can be Lily if we want. Hi, Lily. How you holding up? I'm so worried about my dad, Raz. Where is he? Why won't headquarters tell us what they know? We'll find him, I promise. Or we could be, uh, Agent Nine. So this is how Sasha sees the world. Well, not usually from so high in the air, but yes. 
And finally... Wow! I'm seeing the world from Mia's point of view. Yes, and you're quite welcome, but I'm trying to find Truman's and Otto right now, so please try to keep it done while you're in here, okay? And let's return to our body. So, this is what people see when they see the world through my eyes. Fascinating. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, uh, it wants... A psychic poke might come in handy. Let's, uh, poke Lily. Poor Lily. She must be really freaked out about her dad. Hey, how'd that squirrel get in here? Oh no, did the squirrels get in here again? That's to be expected when you park a plane in the woods, darling. I told headquarters an underground hangar pays for itself in two years. Well, let's think of it as a mascot. Ooh. Um, let's poke um, uh, Mia. If we're anywhere near Truman, Mia should be able to sense it. Okay, and Agent Nine again. I can't believe I'm on a mission alongside my childhood hero, Sasha Nine. Don't mess this up, Rasputin. Right, uh, anything else we want to poke? Hello? This jet is all first class. What's Cartoon? that squirrel thinking? Stowing away on this jet. Yeah, how Deep dare you? Brain. Are you? Um, anything else before I go on to the next training? Uh... We can of course open up more. That's my official psychonauts uniform. Not that one though. That's somewhat just Oh Aliens. Right. What's our next training? It's telekinesis, Kyle. Huh. Hey, I got one. What does a live squirrel in an overhead compartment have in common with a dead squirrel on the side of the road? Eh? Anyone? They're both carry-on. <laughs> you get it? Carry-on? <laughs> ah, airplane humor. Okay. Sorry, serious situation, I know. So he changes his stance. Oh, man. Is that what I look like? Hang on. That's better. <laughs> I think it's quite a good joke. Obviously, I can, I can be the squirrel as well. I suddenly feel a little nutty. <laughs> ah, who asked you? Everybody knows squirrels have no sense of humor. All right, let's be uh, me for the time being. Hey, Rasputin, think you could toss me a roll of toilet paper? Oh, hang on, let's be the squirrel again. We cannot see from his perspective. Uh, I know where the toilet roll is. It's uh, one of these. There we go. Wow, this stuff is super light. I'm huge. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the reinforcement, son. Looks pretty dry. Let's put that there. Anything else on this side of the room? I'd hate to start a fire on this plane. Hey, Lily, I didn't know you liked this kind of music. Uh, that's not mine. Hey, get away from my stuff. Sorry, coach. Didn't think it was yours. It's high energy music with a positive message, and it's perfect for my workout. I'm not ashamed. Rasputin! Roll out of TP in here! There we go, I, I anticipated your need. Uh, me, would you mind picking up that message? Pillows? <laughs> I guess Julie's always been better at burning stuff than me. Okay. I feel that knowing when not to burn stuff is an undervalued skill. Oh, that was outside the game area. Right, let's burn these pillows. This plane really is fire burning. Stuff back there. I don't wear my official not uniform me. when I'm out in the field. When you really focus your thoughts, you sure can get a lot done. And break a lot of stuff. I don't know, I don't remember this. Um... Gotta be gentle. 
I'm saving it for ceremonial occasions. That looks really good. Right, uh, I'm going to look at some stuff. So, oh yeah, that's one thing I was going to say. Um, oh, interesting. Yes, I wonder. Uh, what's the fire button again? Wow, the toilet paper is really flammable. You're burning it. We got a man down in here. Any other the uh, overheads? That's not opened. That. What's this one? There you go. I just didn't want it. Okay, fine. Yes, so, uh. Mia, trying to focus here, sweetie. So, uh, I recently found out. Uh, I miss. I've looked up all the scenes now, the vault scenes with Mia and Nine. And Mia's got, like, a horrific scene um, of um, a load of children burning in a. In um, an orphanage, and it's like in a secret room in a disco that I completely missed. Uh, and it kind of changes how you can see her, her character because this is now tinge of sadness to everything she does, and I think it's really good. Um, <laughs> okay, very strong scroll. Right, um, I've not looked at all the. That one overhead compartment is locked. Okay. Not the others. Palm Reader's Digest. Could you do you have anything to say about that? So yep. that's your book, Sasha? You never thought you were into aliens. Only in it for the science, Rasputin. Okay, how do, how do I get this? Uh, actually, I okay. got... Feels heavy. How do I open these books up? What's astrocyonics? Is that like astrology? No, Rasputin. It's science. Think about it. If there is intelligent life out there in the universe, how are we more likely to make first contact? Rockets moving at a fraction of the speed of light, or the minds moving at the speed of thought? It's his obsession, darling. Oh, jeez. Sasha, I think I damaged your book. I've already memorized it. Right. Oh, that'd be good for my neck. I wonder why that one overhead compartment is locked. All right, all right, fine. Not the others. Hey, Louie. You... Brad, quit it. I know it's you. So, yeah. Won't set me on fire, obviously. That's my dad's old music box. That's beautiful, Lily. It used to be my grandma's. What's a family heirloom doing locked up in the jet? No idea, but I'm glad it's here. Are you trying to use clairvoyance on that music box to make a connection with your dad? Yeah, but I... I can't do it. Either I'm too freaked out or too involved or the signal's lost or he's... he's... Don't worry, you'll get it. Ugh. Do you mind if I gave it a try? I'm... I'm getting something. Ugh, is it my father? Can you see him? No, not yet. Something is strange about this signal. Everyone, focus your thoughts on Raz and Grandhead Zanotto. Together we can connect them. Maury, will you help us? I'll cover you from here. This is where I do my best concentrating. I see something. It's a strange room. Look around for clues, Rasputin. If we can figure out where this room is, 
We can fly the jet straight there. But first, tell me if my dad's okay. On it. Okay. If I were a computer genius, what would I do? <laughs> um. Hey, this guy's not reading a textbook. <clears throat> Raz, what's wrong? I can't. I can't seem to. Something's wrong with my powers. We may be very far away from Truman, darling, so your connection might not be strong enough. So, this is how it feels to be the button master. I am the button master. Scratch my nose. Okay, so, uh, oh, with you as well. Ah, this guy's in charge of the big ball. Is there anyone else? And it's Tim, Flappy, Ray, Gil. Cool. I can't make out the image because of this lumpy slacker here. Okay, well. I see some figures. Can you identify the kidnappers? No, they're wearing protective suits. Curious. Hey, get out of the way. You're blocking the show. Well, at least these kidnappers are sanitary. Hmm. There seems to be something dangerous here. What is it, Raz? Not sure. Something psychic and bad. Who would even do that? I guess the suits protect you from some sort of psychohazard. Guess that's it. What the heck? What is it? It's the emblem for the Psychonauts. What? Could this be one of our unused facilities? That's a very important clue, Rasputin. You've narrowed down the location significantly. Keep looking around, Raz. <laughs> this person we're trying to save. Um... Hmm. Oh, and he's had his powers blocked. Can't side blast anything with my head all messed up like this. This one's really interested in buttons, it seems. They've got Truman's head in a giant steel ball. They cut off his head? No, no, it's attached to his body. It's just stuck in a big round, um, uh. Psycho isolation vomit, I presume. What are they using for an anti catalyst? Okay, one of those symbols I know, and it's bad. These other symbols look a little fishy. Well, um, somebody has some fishy buttons, don't they? So that's Clam Star Star. Um, star, star. Okay, that was the right code. Awesome. Okay, I open the hatch and oh, it's full of. Uh, What's wrong, darling? Nothing. Just got a little dizzy for a second. There's some sort of glowing yellow rock in here. Rasputin, was there a psychohazard symbol on the outside of the container you just opened? 
Oh, yeah. I was gonna mention that. Cytherium, be careful, Ross. It's very psychically disorienting. And Silerium is also incredibly rare. That certainly narrows down the possible locations. But we still need more information, Rasputin. Gotcha. Right. Um. What's your problem, Henry? Right, uh, a big button. I wonder if this opens that big window. There's a big window here, but it's shut. If only we could look outside, we might be able to see some sort of landmark. A building or some regional foliage. Yeah. Uh... A look around. Some chairs, nobody's using them yet though. Uh, who hasn't done anything? What's your job? Hmm. What is this place? I see Truman. Is he okay? He looks okay, but he's unconscious. Oh, Dad. I'm gonna poke some things. He's not waking up. Dad? He will, sweetie, he will. Hey! are you? What's your deal? Yeah, you. Well, there's obviously all these locks, right? Like, these are clearly instructions, but to what, I'm not sure. Ooh, we can uh, turn the pages. That's probably could have done that with the magazines. Uh, Henry? How am I going to fix this mess? Here's something. Right, uh, starfish, squid, starfish. Uh, fugu, whatever. Fugu squid. Fugu. That's it! You found the location of the kidnapper's lair? No, I... Well, I'm not sure what I did. But I did something. What you reading? Don't lose your place. This is mean. This one looks like the button master. Come on, open up! Open up! This one must be the computer genius. Why do you kidnap Truman? Who's your boss? Poke! Hey! Hey, you!
Mm. Who are you? This thing adjusts to the height of the torturer, I guess. Creepy. Is that some sort of torture chair? What? Oh, uh, I said, is that a torch over there? No, you didn't. I mean, is that some sort of portraiture? Like a painting. Oh, God. That thing sounds pretty solid. Yoo-hoo! Oh, shall I look to the other magazines now? Uh, yeah, what did I achieve with these people then? I think the keys below are better for poking. I have no idea what I'm doing. I know. I guess we can keep rotating and see if we get any. If there's any. Anything interesting up there? What's your deal? Yeah, you. Why do you kidnap Truman? I don't think I could even light a match right now. My pyrokinesis is all out of whack. Hey there! Something's happening! I wonder if this opens that big window. Is that... water? No, water outside of the window. Guys, we're underwater. Under a lot of it. Underwater? <gasps> Sasha, an underwater psychonaut facility. With a large supply of silerium. Only one place I know fits that description. It's been shuttered for years. Exactly. What? Do you know where my dad is? Is he safe? I think we know where he is, darling. But it's definitely not safe. Rasputin, we're leaving. Regather your thoughts carefully, Rasputin, so you don't get silerium sickness. Roger that. We're coming for you, Dad! Oh, Lily. Papa? Lily, stay away. Don't come here. It's not safe. Papa! Something's not right. This isn't good. Ugh. Rasputin! Darling, can you hear me? Rasputin, are you with us? How many fingers am I thinking about? Um, purple? Close enough. Yay! Outpost Charlie Psycho Delta, the only underwater psychonaut research facility built for studying Silerium. And it's right in the middle of the rhombus of ruins. <gasps> That's the name of the game! The ocean noted for the numerous planes and ships that supposedly went missing there, as well as its four equilateral sides. Truman told me not to go there. Not safe. Psychonauts to scare people away from our facility years ago. We've actually been flying toward the rhombus for hours while you slept. As a matter of fact, we should be there right about now. We flew into the deadly parallelogram. Sputin, please. A parallelogram sides are not necessarily equal. Warning. <laughs> Psychonav systems compromised. We all need to focus on protecting the ship's control. Focus on fastening our seatbelts. Warning. Catastrophic altitude loss. Ah! Let's hope I get a little turbulence to get the valves moving. All right. 
That is something I picked up in. What's that? You're flying so high. Over cities of gold. But in your mind's eye, something evil takes hold. Oh, it's a brain. Of course it is. You can't break a date with a rhombus of ruin. Oh no, he doesn't know water. The game is going to be out by the time we finish this. Wait, what? Where am I? Oh, no, we could. No, I'm back in here. There, Sasha, Mia, can you hear me? Where are they? I have to get out of here. I can't see myself in that rusty mirror. Probably for the best. I really got to get out of this room. Who's your boss? Keep turning. Okay, whatever. Uh, right, so, uh, Fugu Squid start Fugu. What does that do? Uh, down here. I really want to get my body out of that torture chair. My telekinesis feels busted. I can't get a grip. I don't think I could even light a match right now. My pyrokinesis is all out of whack. Okay, obviously I'm going to laser somebody at some point. Is. Did it sink down to the bottom? Are the others inside? I've got to get down there and find them. I'm usually terrified of water, but since I'm only doing it mentally, I can actually enjoy it for once. There was an issue of true psychic tales that talked about the rhombus of ruin, but I assumed it was just a legend. But it looks pretty real to me. According to True Psychic Tales, issue 43, the heart of the Rhombus of Ruin is an enormous Silerium deposit. So powerful it can confuse and attract the minds of pilots and captains for miles and miles. Like a 
deadly mental magnet. The Psychonauts tried to set up research stations like this one to study it, but no one could bear the Silerium mental effects. Uh, hair's come loose, it's really annoying. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Did not expect to see one of these here. Hello. Silerium glow. Look at all these vehicles. So many vehicles. Guided here by what? Silerium poisoning? That's a psychomagnetism? That's a brain. I, mean, I just made that term up. But it sounds as right as anything. That's a that's, that's a I can feel it now. Twisting my mind. I wonder how it's affecting the others. Okay, mid-mission status report. Plane crashed, team separated, I'm tied to a chair. Psy powers not working, weird silent guards everywhere. I'm gonna put those in the challenges column. Under opportunities, not dead yet, some power's still working, and I'm learning a lot about fish. I just need to find Lily and Sasha and Mia soon. Oh, and Coach. Him too. I don't know. I've got to get down there and find them. Coach did want to take over the world like a day ago. Huh. I thought jellyfish didn't have brains. Guess this is one of the smart ones. Maybe that fell off a boat? Hmm. Not much of a view from down here. You're not concerned about the giant brain? Hmm. Not much of a view from down here. That tells me... Hi, fishy. Yeah, you can poke stuff. I forget that. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Ah, much better view. Although I feel a little bloated. Open and reveal your kidnapped psychonauts. Nope, no psychonauts in there. I hope the kids got off before this bus sank. Wow, look at that Silerium deposit. Where did it come from? And why does it look so much like a brain? That's one big ship. <laughs> Boop. Yikes. I'm glad my body's not here with me. Those sharks look really hungry. Hey, eel. 
I need to save the children. Mia! What are you doing? It's like she's in some sort of trance. I don't know who these guys are, but this one really likes his tunes. This one looks like the studious type. Whoops! <laughs> Whoops! I don't think I can hold this Careful much there, longer. Butterfingers. Whoops! <laughs> Careful there, Butterfingers. Whoops! <laughs> Careful there, Mia! Can you hear me? I can't help now, Rasputin. This bus is caught on the tracks and it's taking all my strength to hold back this train. I need to save the children. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Mia, you think those weird guards are little children? I can't fail the orphans again, Rasputin. Oh, look at the train. Um. Cool. I never had a school bus with a radio in it. Of course, I never had a school bus, period. You know, growing up in the circus and all, no good. The power's dead. Looks like a train engine. Wonder where the rest of it is. Stop! I think that might fry my brain. Hi, Sparky. Choo-choo! No good. The power's dead. Hey, there's the engine. I'd try to get it started, but I don't think driving out of here is very likely. Bzz, bzz, to you too. No good. The power's dead. Looks like a switch for the train track. Looks like a switch for the train track. I can't summon enough energy to move it. I need to save the children. Hey, Mia! Snap out of it! She can't see the thing. Huh. Uh... Choo choo! Ooh, that makes my brain tingle a little. Hey, eel! I think that might fry my brain. Hi, Sparky. I think that might fry my brain. Whoops! <laughs> Careful there, Butterfingers. It's no good. My telekinesis feels busted. I can't get a grip. I don't think I can hold this for much longer. Won't budge. I'm not sure what to do. Whoops. <laughs> Careful there, Butterfingers. Whoops. <laughs> Careful there. I don't think where's where's forwards. Sorry. Um Whoops. <laughs> oh man. Mia children. would love this song. I can't side blast anything with my head all messed up like this. Not strong enough. Oh, radio. 105.3. Whoops. <laughs> Careful there. Butterfingers. Hey, Mia! Snap out of it! Mia, I need your help to find the other Psychonauts. I need to save these orphans first. Orphans? No good. The power's dead. Okay, you can go. Ah. How do I... Halt! Resume swimming. Freeze! As you went... Mm. This button is some sort of hexagon, but strangely, with eight sides. <laughs> Everything is so weird here. You're free to stop. Bzz, bzz, to you too. No good. The power's dead. Move along. Ooh, that makes my brain tingle a little. Halt! Okay, freeze! Hey, where'd that eel go? Guess he didn't want to show his face after the battery sucked all the juice out of him. But I still need more power. We got some power, but not much. Resume swimming. Hey, eel, red light. Looks like the battery's out of juice. As you were, stop. 
Hey, lights! Now we're cooking. Battery looks half full. I'll bet the manual for that battery specifically states, do not submerge battery in seawater for years. Halt! You freeze! We're almost full power. Move on. Red light. Okay, you can go. Stop! We're full up! One oh five point three. Hello. Is this that weird boy band all Paul? Listen, listening to fake boy band. I need something to break me out of this trance. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Fool, why do I think they'll understand my earthling language? Or are they so advanced they can understand any language? We know so little. Anything is possible. We are so insignificant. Why would they even bother talking to us? Still, I must try. This is historic. What does this dial do? Does this change anything? Testing, testing. Free. plane crash. I'm in the research outpost. I think those guards work for Truman's kidnappers. And our kidnappers too, it seems. Are you with the others? No. We have to go find them. Of course, but I don't think I can do much of anything right now, Rasputin. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with me. It's the Silerium. It's messing up our brains. I think I can resist it. Mori always said your brain was armored like a tank. I think the best way for me to help is to focus my psychic energy on you, young man. I focus on boosting your telekinetic ability, just in case you run into any more runaway trains. But I can't do it alone, Mia. You won't be alone, darling. I'll be in your thoughts, listening to everything <laughs> Yikes. Hmm. Now that I have my TK back, what should I try to lift first? That one, okay. Oh. Huh. Ross, what have you done? Uh, well, I, I have a plan. Kind of. See? Exactly as I planned. Oh, Rasputin. I think that turned the track away from us. I don't want to let that eel out. He's still got some juice left. And he'll probably be mad. Can't get a grip on that radio. These bus seats must be really sticky. Oh, hang on, let's be jellyfish. Hey, the light's on in that bomber over there.
Be right back, Mia. I'm gonna go check out this bomber. I will send my thoughts with you, young man. Can't seem to catch those darn speedy brains. Uh, the Enterprise. And it's their ship, probably. There's a guard here. Don't let him see you, darling. But right now, I'm just disembodied consciousness projected onto some sea life. Well, yes. I'm in. Great work, darling. Can't side blast anything with my head all messed up like this. Who ever heard of a heroic rat? <laughs> Take that, fish. <laughs> Take that, fish. <laughs> Hi, fishy. Take that, fish. <laughs> Hmm. Not sure what to do. Let's forward. Nah, I need him where he is. Man, these things are slippery. Why are there so many angles? It's interesting. Nah, I need him where he is. Okay, uh, not sure what I'm supposed to do. Keep doing the same thing. <laughs> what does Take it do? That fish. <laughs> Take that fish. Can't side blast anything with my head all messed up like this. Twelfth airborne flying rats. Give them the old one two. That's a big bomb. Gentle. Careful now. Easy does it. steady is that welded shut to keep the water out or keep something else in what's scaring this guy the seawater must have neutralized these bombs right Lily. Where's the flower? In the sun. When she gets hot, we'll have some fun. Uh-oh. Lily looks as out of it as well as I was. Yeah. It's all right, darling. I was in a bad way, thanks to the Silerium. Let's try to help her like you help me. <laughs> In the sun, when she gets hot, 
Wait a second. Oh, hi, Raz. Welcome to my garden. Lily, you have to stop what you're doing. These aren't flowers. These are... Shh. Raz, quiet. Plants are very sensitive to psychic energy. I won't have you upsetting them. Oh, man. Hey, Lily dropped her music box. Looks a little damaged. It used to sing about my father. Then it stopped. I think I should leave it for the rat. Oh man, are those fleas? Guys. Hmm? Okay. I'm a flea. Okay, I that like, that's terrifying. You know that game. Yeah. I, I like rats, but like that's terrifying. <laughs> Anything with my head all messed up like this. Got one. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. If they love me, where they go? These things make me really nervous. That's a big bomb. The seawater must have neutralized these bombs, right? a hole in the side of Lily's music box. Better be careful. This thing's already pretty damaged. Not me. I'm fine. Hope you like music, Flea. Wow. It looks so small from the outside. I wonder why it's not working. Let's get this out of there. This has got to go. I'll bet this feels good. Right, music box? Ah, like music to my ears. Well, not like music, but actually music. Where am I? Where's the jet? Where is everybody? What's that light up there? Could be one of the others. Oh, I gotta get out of here! Oh, she's is really good at burning things, isn't she? Harold, you stay put. I'll come back for you when it's safe. Yeah, it's, it's actually really scary having giant people run up to you. Zanato. Hmm. Lily, it 
It's me. Where? Where are you? I'm with your father. Where is everybody else? I'm here too, darling. In a school bus nearby. I was sick with Silerium poisoning, just like you. Silerium? Oh, that must be why I can't lift anything. I'm trying to pile enough bombs here to blow this hatch. Is that safe? There's a train connected to the outside of this wall. If I can get through this door, I can get inside. And go where? Away from this place where all the bombs are. Good point. Okay, I'll make a bomb pile, but you should find a safe place to hide. Yeah, yeah. These things make me really nervous. Wow. That's a big bomb. The seawater so must have neutralized these bombs, right? What's in these things? Can't sideblast anything with my head all messed up like this. Nuts! I don't want to TK that one while Lily's playing with it. That could send her into a dangerous rage. These things make me really nervous. Wow. That's a Big bomb. Great! Now just one more, okay? Okay, that's enough big ones. Now I need some little ones that aren't so hard to heat up. Bring me a little bomb to use as kindling. Bring me Francis. This one is really... F Where's that little bomb Lily was talking to? The one she was hitting with a hammer. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Hmm. Okay, actually, we don't need any more big ones, Raz. Where's that little bomb Lily was talking to? The one she was hitting with a hammer. Come on, Francis. Here we go, little buddy. Forwards, uh, I managed to lose, haven't I? I'm so worried about you. Oh, uh, yeah. I knew she was talking to the rat. I'm sorry, darling. Um, excuse us for barging into your mind like this, Lily. Uh, hello again, sweetheart. Oh, Raz, Mia, glad you're here. Listen, with the Silurium poisoning, I'm going to need a little help getting through this train. If I focus what's left of my Psy energy on you, Raz, it should give you enough extra power to cover me with pyrokinesis. But you gotta get out of here so I can concentrate, okay? Sounds good. I think she means out of her mind, darling. Oh, right, of course. Can't Psy blast anything with my head all messed up like this. Let's get out of here! Yes! I feel the fire in my belly again. The belly. 
belly of my mind. Why? Right, I'm gonna take a small break. Uh, because I've been doing this for like an hour. Uh 